with Luna Moth Creations and Tarot. And if you are a returning friend, thanks for stopping by. Hey girl, what's up? If you are new, um, I appreciate you stopping in on my channel. I do witchy subscription unboxings as well as self-care unboxings, tarot and oracle deck unboxings and reviews. And I've got more planned if you guys uh, stay tuned. I don't know what's happening with my shirt. It is like all, there we go. Um, so today I am doing an unboxing of the Sacred Space Crate. Um, I have really enjoyed this one so far. Um, it was a, a newer subscription for me. Well, I guess I've had it since I've had this channel. Um, there's another company that I've subscribed for like years. So, all right, we are going to just get right into it. I can get it open. Oh, maybe there's more tape. I don't know what the theme is. I may have seen it, but I don't remember what it is. Oh, prophetic dreams. So this is what we see on the inside. So we've got their logo, Sacred Space Crate. And the top thing says prophetic dreams. Um, but we're going to put that aside. So we don't see what's in here because this is our info. Um, sorry, I've got my bagel. I've got my breakfast. If you guys have been watching me, you know that I am a night nurse. So I just woke up. It's mid-afternoon, late afternoon. Um, I have to work tonight. So we get a calendar. And on the front, you can see it's got like somebody dreaming with an angel coming to them. And um, they have the dates and times of uh, the different moons. Imbolc is on here that we just had a couple days ago. Um, and it talks about moon being void, of course, or what um, constellation they're in, interest Leo, blah, blah, blah. So that is always nice to have. And again, so we have some purple tissue paper and a little sticker that says Dreamer. All right, first thing on top, I've got some, oh, let's get it right with my light. Lavender incense. I mean, I know what lavender smells like, but I'm gonna smell it anyways. Very nice. And then we have a um, smudge bundle. Trying to see if I can figure out. I don't think that's bay leaves, but maybe. Anyways, so there, a little smudgy smudge. Oh gosh, I just saw something very neat. I'm not gonna do it. Okay, what's this guy? So I got this little purple organza bag and it's got um, a little lavender um, picture of some lavender. I guess I'm probably not supposed to open it. We won't open it. I don't know if th this is probably like a dream sachet. Like put, mm, lovely. Like put under your pillow. I'm guessing. That's what I'm guessing. Okay. All right. So we have some herbs. Oh yeah. I forgot. Their herbs are really fun in the fact that they come in this cute little. Um, so we have some. Ooh, it's tea. Dream tea. But it comes in this cute little, and it will sit up like that. Okay, old eyes, let's see what it says. So it's peppermint leaf, chamomile, skullcap, mugwort, demonia leaf, am I saying that right? Uh, rosemary leaf, rose petals, caffeine free. But we do have our caffeine as always, y'all. Ready to go, but I'm here for it. Which smells great. I love peppermint in my tea. Love it. I bought a new teacup and saucer from uh, Killstar. If you guys don't know that company, um, they've got very gothic type stuff. Um, I might be a little too old to wear some of their clothing. <laughs> um, I think it looks cool. Uh, but yeah. Um, 
I got a teacup and saucer, and if you guys want to see it, because it's gorgeous, um, I took a beautiful picture of it with um, some tarot cards on my Instagram. That is linked below, and if you don't already follow me on Instagram, I'd appreciate you going over there. I do put, um, like, Fortune Fridays, so pick a card um, on Friday with your um, Fortune for the weekend is what I usually take it. Um, but I do all kinds of different things on there and I do little, um, quick, uh, spell reels. So if you guys are interested, I would love for you to follow me. Hit me up. Hi, what's up? So yay. I've been wanting to drink more tea. So awesome. So this probably, um, at the very end of my shift, I'll drink <laughs> before I go to bed. Okay. I still know what that is. Okay, this one's coming out. All right, we have some sort of spray. These little crinkle papers. Mugwort Dream Cream. Just one drop will do. And it says with lavender. So mugwort and lavender. Although maybe I, sh I shouldn't put any on because it says one drop will do. I guess it'll say in the paperwork like. I smell mugwort and lavender, <laughs> which is what it is. So cool. So it's got a, um, a little pumper with one drop will do. Neat. So, so far this is really cool. I feel like there's like different things in here that, you know, would normally get. Okay, so here we got a candle. I'm like throwing shit everywhere. I feel like all these boxes know that I'm getting them because they're all putting purple in their boxes. And purple candle. Purple candle. And then, of course, I'm pretty sure it's got lavender on it so we have a um, shorter rolled beeswax candle okay, another oh that's something big okay okay here's something small Ooh, is this a, um celestite I'm gonna guess that this is celestite translucent it is we will find out but of course it came with one of these and again if you guys don't know my tip keep these little bags put your um, if you get the little bath salts that have all the herbs and stuff in it put it inside this tie it up throw it in a tub the bath salts are gonna dissolve and you're still gonna get the infusion of all the herbs in the tub but when you go to clean up your tub you're not gonna have all that crap everywhere and you can just toss this in the trash so which tip all right, so. All right, I guess we're getting this. Oh my God. Oh, oh, there's more. Oh shit, I think I broke it. <laughs> I can fix it, it's fine. It's a dream journal. <gasps> Look at that. Oh, I'm here for it. I love when they have these, um, Ooh, look at that. And it's, of course, handmade paper. Look how beautiful. It is gorgeous, y'all. Oh my God. Super excited. Okay, so what I, I like messed up was, I guess this is our, um, here, I can fix this super quick. This we're using as our um, bookmark. Oh shit, okay, hold on. I, I really do know how to do crafts. Oh 
I swear I'm getting these old eyes. Okay, there we go. So look, it's terrible lighting is what it is. It's a, um, a feather. Fun with a cute purple tassel. So we can put that in there. Nice. And then I can totally see what the next thing is. I think this is the last thing. Oh my God, how many herbs can I put in this, guys? Holy shit, this is the biggest organza bag I've ever seen ever. And if you didn't already see, there's a dream catcher in here. I actually have a dream catcher on my wall right over there. It's it's metal though. Um, but it's super cool. Holy shit, we're gonna do this big bag. I gotta figure something to do with it. It's really cool. Look at how freaking big that is. Okay, anyways. <laughs> I'm just envisioning this in my tub. <laughs> I don't know where to put it. Okay, there is a um, black obsidian arrowhead on this. <gasps> oh. Okay, so there's our arrowhead. And then look at the pretty, oh, do they have gold on them? I'm getting ready to craft like a banner thing over here. I'm having t-shirt issues. Ugh. Um, so, you know, in some of these boxes, they give you like little um, pins. And I'm like, I have no idea what to do with these pins. Um, and then I saw a picture on Instagram, somebody's um, altar space, and they have like a little banner um, and they put the pins on the banner. And so I was going to make like a big banner that loops like right up here. Um, and then put the pins on that. So eventually I will do like an altar tour here on my space once I get it um, a little neater. <laughs> but anyways, I think this needs to go like up there because I have I have a uh, my metal dream catcher over there. And so my boyfriend's gonna love me that he has to hang more shit. I wonder if a stick pen will do it. All right. That's super pretty, actually. I'm excited. Really, it should be by your bed. Um, but, hmm, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what my boyfriend says. <laughs> All right, let's get our paperwork. All right, again, the theme is prophetic dreams, if you hadn't figured that out. Dream work is a subject that I had studied for years, and I'm very excited to finally have curated a box that I can use the opportunity to share the wisdom that I have acquired in understanding dreams and dream interpretation. I'm going to try not to make this introduction too long, but everything I'm sharing is crucial in understanding the real meaning of your dreams and how you can use them in your practice. I have got to stop right there, guys. This is really crazy that this theme is um, about dreams because I have been having a reoccurring dream lately. It's a nightmare. So um, I keep dreaming that I'm with my ex-husband, which is a complete awful nightmare. <laughs> and um, I keep dreaming that we're moving. So I'm with him, which is miserable. And then we're moving and I don't want to move. And it's always like stressful, you know, like, we need to hurry up and get it done or something and we're running behind so um i guess what i'm getting from that is that i'm dreading some sort of change um that's what i got from that so anyways if you guys have an idea of what in the world that means um let me know in the comments below Alrighty, so yeah there is a lot in here so um hopefully you guys stick with me <laughs> the first thing that is important to understand is that not all dreams are prophetic or a message from an outside source or entity. Right, I would think that my message, my dream didn't mean anything, but I've seriously had like an extremely similar dream with my ex-husband and we're moving and we're in a hurry um, 
for probably every night for at least a week. So something's going on there. Um, actually, very few are, but it's important to know the difference. Oh my God, I have to say more stuff. I actually do have prophetic dreams. Um, I'm sorry guys that I'm like, I'm ADD first off. Um, I dreamt about my granddaughter before she was even a thing. So I knew that she was coming. I also, my grandpa came to me um, in a dream after he died and I completely believed that it was his spirit coming to me and not just a dream. So anyways, I, and I know that there's been more stuff that I've dreamt of that it's come true, but anyways, whatever. Um, the source of your dreams is usually always your subconscious. Everything you see, do, hear, and feel, including all of your hopes and fears, go into your subconscious. Your subconscious doesn't know the difference between what's real and what's not real. All the information you have been subjected, subjected to is just one big web of reality in your subconscious. For example, when you watch a horror film, it is stored in your subconscious as something that you have experienced, therefore becoming realistic deep in your subconscious. Now throw out all those dream symbol interpretation dictionary books because they are 90% crap. Good to know. If you want to know the meaning of a symbol or event that took place in your dream, then ask yourself what it means to you exactly. A lot of dream interpretation books have made dream interpretation more complicated than it should be to interpret. It's basically simply using common sense, just like what I said. So being with my ex-husband is something that I like don't want to do and it makes me extremely anxious and unhappy. And then um, rushing to make a huge change with moving. So that's, um, I think that's what it is. So anyways, sorry for being ADD. Um, it's basically simply using common sense combined with your personal experiences and emotions. For example, if you have a nightmare that you are about to give a speech or meet someone new and then notice you have no clothing on, then you are afraid of being exposed to something that you don't want them to know. I am pretty sure most of humanity has had that dream and figured it out pretty quickly if we understood that fears feed nightmares. If you have a dream or even a reoccurring dream of someone chasing you through the woods, it doesn't necessarily mean that someone is out to get you but it more than likely means that you have stored some paranoia in your subconscious. I also used to have dreams, even when I was a little kid, that, um, that I was being chased and like murdered. So that's a whole nother um, video. All right, subconscious dreaming, I'm gonna have to shut up other than reading this. Subconscious dreaming can be very prophetic as well. This is because your subconscious knows what is going to happen before your conscious mind does. This is why it is imperative that you keep a dream journal, which we will cover later in this letter. It is possible to receive, I'm sorry, my allergies. Every time I smell something, they start going crazy. It is possible to receive a prophetic dream or useful information from an outside source, whether it be a loved one guide or an angel. These types of dreams are usually lucid dreams, which means that you realize that you're dreaming during your dream. The source will bring this to your attention because they want the information stored in your conscious mind as opposed to your subconscious mind. I am a crone aged witch that is very in tune to my dreams, but I can count how many of these dreams that I have had on both hands. But when I received them, I received information that was imperative to know for use in my practice or in my personal life. Therefore, I cannot express enough how important journaling these dreams are, which leads us to the first and most important item in the box, the custom leather dream journal. I designed these journals exclusively for this box. It was important to use real leather that will age nicely without falling apart with excessive use. It was also important to design a dream journal that is the perfect size for your nightstand and for travel as well. And there is just something so magical about writing on real parchment paper. Always keep this on your nightstand with a pen where it is convenient and ready to be wrote in as soon as you wake. Dreams are meant to be forgotten by your sub, excuse me, by your conscious mind, so it's very important to write them down as soon as you wake, before you start thinking about anything else. Anyone that keeps a dream journal knows that even when you read through past, even recent past entries, you don't remember the dreams you wrote about at all. But you will have an aha moment of, oh, that dream makes so 
much sense now. Right, exactly. If I would have written down when um, I dreamt about my granddaughter, um, but but actually that dream is still so fresh in my mind. Um, anyways, that's again a whole nother freaking story. Um, so keeping a dream journal is the most important action you can take in understanding and prediction from prophetic dreams. Even your subconscious is always trying to tell you something important. Make sure to write down every detail you remember, whether it makes sense or not. Include information about anything that is affecting your environment or mentality. For example, if you started a new diet or exercise program, or met a new friend or lost someone, etc. Conclude the entry with your initial interpretation and leave a little space so that you can go back to it later with a different interpretation if you wish. Don't be afraid to use several pages for one entry. And then the feather bookmark included in your in your journal a metal feather bookmark. Feather is an important symbol in my family's native practice because we believe that feathers symbolize a connection between heaven and earth. It also brings us messages and signs from the heavens. I added a lavender tassel to hold your place in your journal. All right, and then we have the custom Native American dream catcher. I'm so excited, it's so pretty. Like the dipped gold is like super chic. Dream catchers come from the Native American culture. I need a drink. I see so many incorrectly made dream catchers, so I wanted to include one that is culturally correct. There is a reason for the typical native design. Dream catchers need to be completely webbed except for the tiny hole in the center. A protective stone is then placed over the center hole. Feathers are always hanging from the dream catcher to carry your dreams. This webbing catches all your dreams and only the dreams that serve you are allowed into the small hole. The dream then slides down the feathers into your head. The black obsidian arrowhead protects you like a weapon from nightmares. It is also important to place your dream catcher within six feet above your head while sleeping. It's best if the sun reaches it during the day because the sun cleanses all the dreams that is caught overnight from it. These dream catchers are larger than traditional dream catcher, but I knew you would appreciate the larger size for decoration purposes. Absolutely. Okay, and yes, I was correct. Lost my stone. This is a Celestite. The obsidian arrowhead is your stone of the month, but I wanted to add a small stone that you can add to your sleep pillow. Uh oh. I wonder if you're supposed to put it in that little thing. Celeste is hard to sleep with since, since it is a geode. So to get an authentic piece that is polished, it comes very small. I have, here, let me, okay, you guys are gonna see how funny I dress all the time. So I always wear Lebron leggings because they're very comfortable. Um, but I have, oh, hopefully I don't knock this down. So this is, um, my celestite geode that I have. See, it's like in the matrix there, um, but pretty. Okay. Okay, I was like, please don't let me knock that down. <laughs> it's hard for you guys to see like what's up in those things, but they're crystals up in there. Okay. Oh my God, there's so much information. Our goal is to connect with our guides and spiritual leaders in our dreams to receive knowledge and wisdom from them. So having a celestite with you is very beneficial for this reason. Associated with celestial beings, celestite is strongly connected to divine energy and cosmic supernatural forces. As the result, this beautiful stone is best used for pursuing spiritual strength. Celestite also promotes discernment or higher spiritual awareness. This makes the stone good for gaining understanding and promoting inner peace. Celestite is associated with the third eye chakra, Anya, wisdom, understanding, mindfulness, and higher consciousness. The third eye chakra is primarily linked to the pituitary gland, which regulates serotonin. I don't think I even have, um, no, I'm thinking, sorry. I was, I was gonna say melatonin. I have no melatonin because um, working night shift. 
um, serotonin. Serotonin is a mood stabilizer, if you didn't know what that was. Um, balanced Anya. Benefits include intuition, perception, imagination, good memory, good dream recall, improved visual visualization, encouraging an open mind, and an ability to see the big picture. Additionally, combining the divine properties of celestite with meditation practices allows for better recognition of what you have control over. Most importantly, the properties of cel it says Celestine. I believe that Celestine, she like interchanged it. I believe Celestine is also another word for Celestite. Should encourage us to learn to become at peace with what we don't have control over. Um, I have actually been um, working on opening and balancing my chakras. Um, so, yay. I'm not sure. I think I have one other small Celestite tumbled stone, which I like to have like several of each kind so I can do grids. Ooh, I should do a sleep grid. A sleep dream grid, like intuition sleep. Okay, it's coming. It'll be on my Instagram. All right. Mugwort and lavender sleep pillow sachet. I included a lavender sleep pillow in a previous box, but this one is mainly filled with mugwort, which is highly beneficial in promoting prophetic and lucid dreaming. Sleep soundly with this dream promoting pillow that can be tucked into your pillowcase to help you sleep. Mugwort or Artis Artemisia vulgaris is an herb native to Europe, Asia, and North America. It's believed that mugwort can cause vivid dreams and help increase dream recall. Note, this pillow may induce lucid dreams as the name implies. The herb also helps create a sense of calm, easing you into sleep. Mugwort has been used for thousands of years for its medicinal properties. Healers use mugwort in their practice to help people who have trouble dreaming, often due to stress. Stress can inhibit, can inhibit the ability to relax even when asleep and disturb sleep cycles and cause insomnia. This unique herb has a mild earthy scent that can be paired with other forms of aromatherapy herbs like chamomile, lavender, or mint. The pillow is filled with a combination of dried mugwort and lavender buds. Lavender is commonly used in body care and sleep promoting products for its calming properties. Inhaling the scent of lavender is found to have a relaxing effect on the central nervous system. Very nice. Uh, mugwort dream cream. Okay, so this was the sachet, if you guys don't remember. And then we've got our mugwort dream cream. I usually make this formula into a salve, but instead of the salve, I wanted, yeah, this is the other thing. She, fuck, I've got like so much troubles here. She always makes like, like she is an aromatherapy, um, I don't know what word I'm trying to use, but she creates these things. Um, she had a salve that was supposed to be for cuts and stuff. And like I had a cut, like a, oh, it was a, uh, a splinter and I had to dig it out. So it was like really hurting and just didn't want to heal. And I put that on it and I swear to God, like within a day, the thing was like healing over. All right, mugwort dream cream. I usually make this for him. Okay, I already said that. Um, I wanted to include a cream that is more absorbent into your skin and moisturize at the same time. Keep this on your nightstand and rub at least one drop into your hands and a couple more to the soles of your feet. These droppers will only dispense drops at a time so that you don't get too oily using it. Mugwort infused oil being the star of the show in this formula. See dream benefits above. Also added is lavender infused oil and lavender essential oil for the relaxing qualities this herb offers. This is also great for all over body moisturizing it is made at, as it is made with African shea butter, mango butter, and sweet almond oil as well. I will have this same formula as a body butter in a glass jar on my website store available. Awesome. So I'm going to check this out. I might get more of it. I bet my boyfriend's going to steal it. We both have trouble sleeping. Um, and then we have our mugwort. So it's mugwort smudge stick. Mugwort is also known as dreamweed for its unique ability to stimulate dreams. It is renowned as a smudging herb for its subtle, sweet scent and dream inducing qualities. 
Burning mugwort will ease you into a deeper meditation or trance state. It's not an herb that makes you high per se, but it opens a more direct channel to your higher conscious and magic. For best results, if using for prophetic dreaming, burn before your evening meditation or prayers or right before going to sleep. Please make sure it is securely burned all the way, blah, 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 blah. All right, and then we have our prophetic dream spell candle. I hand rolled this candle, the spell candle, with the intentions of bringing into it the ability to bring in prophetic dreams. Then lightly rolled in mugwort and lavender herbs. Here is a spell that you can easily cast or use the candle to cast your own personal spell. Um, so I'm not going to read this because I feel like um, that you should really get the box for this to, you know what I mean? Like, I don't want to share all her secrets. Um, but anyways, she talks about the spell there. And then we've got our organic dream tea. Super. I'm waiting for a new tea infuser. Um, my boyfriend stole mine. <laughs> so I need an infuser for my... Um, my loose tea and it's gonna be here Friday and that's not quick enough today's Wednesday all right so this organic dream tea is an infusion blend based on ancient formula especially blended for the dreamer it is believed to stimulate vivid and easily recalled dreams it is caffeine free and perfect as a nightcap or to use with your prophetic dream spell candle above ingredients are which I already read all the ingredients when I first showed you guys all right, the lavender incense sticks. These hand dip lavender incense sticks. A warm lavender fragrance with delicate notes of lemon, uh, petite gran, geranium leaf, and camphor. These smell heavenly if you love lavender scent as much as I do. Perfect for calming the body and mind before bed or during any meditation. I am like totally getting down with what I'm going to do like at the end of my night. Um, totally going to drink this tea, light this incense, sage it up, or not sage, mug, mugwort it up, um, put my creams on and do a little nighttime meditation, Put this sachet underneath my pillow. I'm gonna put the Celesta in the sachet. Okay, we're gonna be all set. But I'm envisioning this lovely nighttime ritual that I can't wait. It's actually, um, it's a morning time ritual for me because I go to bed at like 6.30 in the morning. Great. Moon in the Zodiac calendar. This is a monthly calendar that will be included in every month's box. Many of us form a lot of our practices around the cycles of the moon. We do this because the moon controls a lot of energy on earth and within our bodies. It is very important in understanding what energies we are surrounded with so we can use this energy accordingly. The artwork on this month's calendar was designed by Samantha Lee Trick. Her Instagram, Facebook at Schmoosey, S-H-M-O-O-S-E-Y. Oh. There's um, also information back here, Moon in the Zodiac. I don't know if it's supposed to be like your, um, like my moon is in Scorpio. Anyways, I think that is about it. Thank you for allowing me to share my knowledge and what I've learned about dream interpretation and prophetic dreaming with you this month. Um, and then she just challenges you to write down your dream journal every morning before you hit the floor. Next month's theme is Ostara, the spring equinox, and I'm excited. I'm so excited for you to see what I plan for this magical box. I am also excited to see what's planned for that magical box. So I think this was a really great box. I'm super excited. There's some beautiful things in this. Well worth the price, I believe. Um, I pay a total of $60 a month. It's 50 for the box and then 10 for shipping. Um, I will link the information below as well as the link to subscribe if you guys are interested. Um, thanks for tuning in. Sorry, this was kind of a long video. Um, I kept going on tangents because I'm ADD. Um, thanks for sticking with me if you did. Um, 
And again, I appreciate y'all's support. If you could give me a thumbs up, leave me a comment. What do you like the most? It's really hard. Like, this is a great box. The dream catcher, the journal, like the tea, the screen. Like, I don't even know. Like, I really do love everything. I'm not just saying that. It's, this is a great box. Um, I would love for you guys to subscribe to me so you don't miss any of my videos. Um, hit the little, di the little ding bell, <laughs> the little bell, so you don't miss anything. And yeah, come check me out on Instagram. I've got other things there too. And I appreciate y'all. Have a great day.